content. Tell us um, what's the latest, where you guys are. Are you getting any tips, anything? Oh, well, we'll take any tips. We're still getting the information brought in. That's what the police were out here today. Uh, sorry about that. That's what they were out here today. Um, but we'll take any information there is and we're following up. Clearly, we're out here still following us, following up. You see us walking around, checking with more people, re-interviewing people. But anybody with any information about uh, the whereabouts of a young man is asked to call us. Can you tell us where you've searched? Have you searched like um, garages? I, or? I, I believe we've searched almost every apartment building. We've searched all the way down Swan Creek, the fields that people are researching. So I appreciate everybody doing it again. Um, and we'll take any assistance we can. Is there a reason there's not many canines out? Uh, we've had canines out um, all yesterday and the day before, is my opinion, from my understanding. So yeah, we've had canines out. So I don't know where the mom is just saying she hasn't seen any. Oh, okay. Well, uh, she might have not seen any, but we've had canines out here. What's your working theory now, as far as timeline? What happened? Uh, the theory that I have is that we'll take any information from anybody and get it to us, and we'll keep following up. I'm not going to give you a theory because um, we're going to explore everything. Okay, so everything is open for us to go and investigate. So you know, theories come and go. We want to make sure we have all the information and we'll follow up. Are you guys like working around the clock? Are you rotating crews? What are you doing? Yeah, I know. We're, we're, there's a lot of man hours going through. We're doing the best we can. Uh, the FBI has been tremendous. They have a lot of resources and they've been helping us throughout. So, Can you confirm if they've been out at um, a landfill or searching we, for anything like that? Uh, I have not been up there, but yeah, we've been searching uh, some uh, place, a temporary place with uh, like a trash storage place. Where, where at? I'm not exactly sure where it's at. It's in Michigan somewhere. And I think that was already out. Somebody put that out on Facebook. So. Is that like a transfer station sort of thing? Yeah, if that's what you would refer to it as, yeah. And that was in Michigan? Somewhere in Michigan, yeah. Was the last scene still the belief around noon on Friday? Uh, that's what, that's yeah. our understanding is that, uh, you know, that we're going with you as last scene Friday morning, yeah. By mom? Uh, that's what we're about to believe, yeah. Okay. Have you heard of any um, boyfriends or any? Well, I'll like that? tell you what. We're, we're going to work. We're going to work on everything. If you yeah. have information, or you guys get any information, or there's people out there with information about anything, is asked to call the police, the FBI, and we'll follow up on it. Okay. Has family been cooperative? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hold that for a second? All right, guys, so I apologize if it was really difficult to hear um, what uh, Detective Gergen had to say from the Toledo Police Department. Um, basically, he did not he did not give any updates on if they were able to find uh, if they found Braylon, if they found anything related to to Braylon. Uh, or, you know, any hints of where he could possibly be around this apartment complex. Um, the detective did not say that. What he did say was that anybody who has any tips needs to uh, contact uh, Toledo Police, Crime Stoppers, the FBI, who are also working on this case. Uh, he did say that the FBI uh, has been searching a landfill in Michigan. He did not know or he couldn't name uh, the exact place where they're searching, but uh, he said that it is located in Michigan. Uh, so again, there hasn't, police didn't provide uh, or didn't say if they found Braylon, if they found anything related to Braylon, they're just asking for tips, which I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear, obviously, but um, that's just the, the short update that Toledo police was able to, to give me or to give us. He uh, did say that police have been out here at the apartment complex asking uh, people, asking neighbors questions to see if they know anything. So, oh great, let me see what you, if any questions that you guys have. He did not mention the, the bloody blanket that was found over the weekend. And there have been many volunteers out here today 
uh, over 50. I haven't gotten the latest count, but when I asked um, the search coordinator at noon, she said more than 50 volunteers have been out here searching around the complex, retracing their steps, what they've already, uh, areas that they've already looked, um, but they've expanded their search uh, up to a three mile radius. It seems like, I mean, police are still searching. They're still investigating. A very short update. They're just asking for more tips. Braylon's mom was questioned. She was ne never taken into custody, just questioned. Yeah, I'm sorry guys that you couldn't hear him. I mean, it's, it's tough. He was speaking quite softly. Uh, one thing, so canines, that's definitely something that we haven't seen out here. Um, the detective just said that um, canines searched over the weekend. Like, and by the week, I mean Saturday, Sunday. Friday. So yeah, I mean, not much of an update, I'm sure is what people were hoping for, but the only update that they would give at this point, which unfortunately is not much of an update, but uh, Braylon's mom has been out here. Uh, I've seen her out here since this morning. She has been passing out flyers and helping out in the, um, just coordinating searches and she did give me some if you guys want to check out my page uh carla byron journalist you'll see she gave me um so a video clip of braylon that we will be including in our newscast tonight so you guys will be able to see that she gave me a, a few clips but um i posted one on my facebook and um the search coordinator said that they're going to be out here until tonight until basically uh darkness um falls they'll be out here searching let me actually flip the camera around so that you guys can see i mean this is basically this is the um gazebo that people have been volunteering or signing up to volunteer at it looks like we have a search party just coming back right now they've been looking uh, up up the creek around the apartment complex So here's the apartment complex, and I mean, as you can see, we got local media out here. There is a station from Cleveland. It seems that they were searching a a, tra a trash heap in Michigan. How do you volunteer? Just um, come over to Hunter's Ridge Apartments. And uh, there is a bench, a, a coordinator here. Just fill out your name and they'll send you out to a certain area that they may or may have not searched yet. And you'll be put with a team. So yeah, Braylon has been missing since Friday. All right, guys, it's kind of hard to see my screen because it's so sunny out here, but um, I'm gonna be live at five, 5.30 and six o'clock tonight so that um, you guys can get updates by the half hour of what has been going on here tonight uh, follow me on facebook at carla byron dash journalist and on twitter at carla underscore byron so i would have included it in the um 
like header, I guess, but the press, the little press conference was happening so fast. I wanted to make sure that I got the uh, camera up and running for that. So yeah, we'll continue to be out here until we hear another update um, and the search efforts continue. So all right, guys, thanks for tuning into this Facebook Live.